Hey, we're here this morning with uh, legendary Ray Barbie. A lot of people watching this probably know a lot about Ray's skateboarding, uh, but we're gonna be talking about his music, which is also really wonderful. Ray, I wanted to talk to you about Tierra for Computer. You mentioned earlier never being able to make a record like that again. And I thought that um, would be an interesting mm, place to start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, you know, I, start, I started skateboarding early 80s, probably around like 83. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, MTV just came out around that time. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I grew up with uh, a lot of jazz and soul in the house. Mm -hmm. And so um, for me, uh, seeing the rock bands on MTV, it gave me this affection towards the electric guitar. Right, right, right. And so, but I didn't know anybody who had an electric guitar. I was like in fifth grade. Yeah, yeah. And it wasn't until a couple years later that I got into skateboarding that the guys that embraced me because of skateboarding, um, they played in punk bands. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm around electric guitars. And so I grew up playing guitar. And so, and thankfully through skateboarding and the community and, and a lot of my friends that, um, making movies and doing things with the skateboard brands um, would encourage me to do music for a lot of the work that they're doing. And through that, because of the response of that, then uh, I was able to put out release music. In 2017, um, I was at like a, a Sam Mash and came across uh, a Korg uh, MS-20 Mini yeah. sent. And um, I got that synth, got home, noodled around with it, yeah. kind of made a track with it, and then thought like, huh, this would be fun to explore analog synthesis. Yeah. Um, and so you had mentioned that I said that I would never be able to make that out again. Right. A lot of it is because of what I like to call kind of like the 80-20 the, the split, where it's 80% enthusiasm and excitement and 20% technique. Yeah, yeah. And so, um, and I realized when you get excited about something and you don't know what you're doing, there can be something interesting in that moment. Sure. So yeah. there was a desire to capture that. And so um, uh, that played a huge part of how that um, album turned out the way it did. That really sparked off this interest towards electronic music and just sounds and mm -hmm. um, and how it functions. I mean, I went down a big uh, kind of rabbit trail of just getting excited about just the technology and how it synthesis came to be and guys who made the first synths. And the name of the album is TR for Computer because it's like the owners from I think that company EMS, like when they were building some of their early synths, there was this they knew that they needed a sequencer, but the, the engineer was like, we need a computer for that. <laughs> and so um, there, one of the guys was like, okay, and the computers back then are so expensive. Right. But right. I guess he talked his wife into selling their wedding tiara what? to fund the, the computer. And so uh, um, yeah. that's where I was like, that's amazing. Yeah. So, TR for computer. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it was sort of like this uh, wild card instrument that MS-20 was. So mm -hmm. was it was it the case that you would find a sound on there and that would spark a riff or a drum beat? Exactly. Or, yeah. Yeah. I would always start with just twisting knobs and being like, and that was the fun thing. I wasn't thinking musically. I wasn't thinking harmony. I was just thinking tones and timbres right, right. and tripping out on these sounds that were very new to me yeah and so yeah i'd find like a bass line where i'm like that sounds really cool and then just come up with the you know uh, a riff yeah or something and then i would track it and then have to make a new patch what can complement it that was the fun thing too yeah. and i really embraced and got excited about doing everything mono because coming from guitar everything is chord based mm -hmm. a lot of the progression and the right, ideas right. 
So to start from melodies and stack melodies, much like a horn section, mm -hmm. like I really felt like yeah. I was writing horn sections with yeah. a synth because it's all mono. Yeah, but they're the, multiple multiple mono. Yeah, we just all of a sudden it's like, and then you start to hear these interplays of, of harmony that derives from the intersection of these melodies mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and start stacking and creating this thing. Yeah, yeah, and I find that when you're doing something like that, uh, if you're, you, you're, your muscle memory for fretting chords and whatnot uh, is kind of no longer a thing. I had no habits. Exactly, you know habits. It was, play, it was playing me. Yeah. I was just holding on for dear life. <laughs> <laughs> get excited about synthesis is because it's kind of yeah man it just has that sense of wonder to it of like much like getting out of my walking out my front door and going and skating or, or even skating the bowl where it's like you drop in you're like you don't know exactly what you're doing no you're just like i'm just gonna go get in it we're gonna end up here you know you're gonna end up somewhere when i sit down with the scent I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna get into, but I'm gonna go somewhere. And so there's there's that sense of uh, wonder or that, that that excitement to see what's gonna happen. And you could come up with a pass that's like, man, that's horrible. Or you can come up with something that's exciting, just like you can come up with a line that just didn't pan out in a skating a bowl or right, right. street or something, but but it's the I'm convinced eighty percent of what I'm doing is the enjoyment of the process. 20 or so is the outcome. Yeah, yeah. Because once you get the outcome, you're like, you'll sit there and be excited about the achievement, but you're you're quick to get right back in it. Right, you're like, okay, like let's go get that next one. one. Yeah, you yeah. don't just end there and be like, okay, I'm good. Yeah. Is there, is there other things, Ray, that you think skateboarding and is there other ways that skateboarding uh, informed or helped your musical process skateboarding just in life has um helped me to develop this tenacity mm -hmm. fortitude if you will mm -hmm. um, uh, but not being afraid to fail Okay. Kind of thing. You know what I mean? Because skateboarding is just all about the percentage of failure to non failure is very unbalanced. Yeah. <laughs> You're failing way more. I don't even think you could call it 80, 80, 80, 80 percent failure, 20 percent success. <laughs> yeah. It, it might be 2 percent success. Yeah. Dude. yeah. So it's, um, uh, and so when that's ingrained in you, I find that it's hard to do things that don't have that to it. Okay. It's hard to do, th you know, if something comes easy, I'm like, what it, there's, right. I need tension, I need pushback, mm -hmm. I need that kind okay. of thing. That's what drives it, that's the thrill, that's the sense of achievement. Mm -hmm. And that comes from skateboarding. And to me, it's not even about being great, it's about, man, I wanna have fun. Yeah, okay. Part of having fun, that plays a part of having fun. Like, yeah. it's just like, oh, this is fun. You can just be in your room just doing your thing. If you're having fun, man, that's it. And from there, if it allows you to have opportunities and do things, yeah. cool. But first and foremost, like, enjoy this thing, dude. It's fun. It's not, hopefully don't go into it like, I gotta get here. It's like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I think you're doing it because you, your skateboarding had a very, or still has a very distinctive style. Guitar playing a distinctive style, and then uh, the synthesis work on on Tierra has a distinctive style. Oh, right. So you, you, I think I think you're achieving your uh, uh, your goal, or I guess you. Uh, well, I'm thankful. I'm just trying to have. It. Yeah, I'm thankful. I'm just trying to have push in towards things that are exciting, and very grateful that. Um, have an opportunity to share that and get encouraging feedback. <laughs> Thankful I'm not here, like, dude, I don't know, man. Better 
stick to the guitar or stick to skateboarding or <laughs> Yeah. So thankful for people's encouragement towards, um, and so yeah. <laughs>